Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk all about who I think the Carnival Venezia is for. Even more specifically, different lengths of sailings, different itineraries. This trip that I went on, I went on a four day sailing to Bermuda out of New York, really made me rethink how I look at the who the ship is for videos. So today I'm gonna to get into that. Let's go discuss. John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome to the video today. If it is your first time checking out one of our videos, we are a small travel agency. If you love cruising, you've come to the right spot. We put out a brand new cruise video every single day. We do a live stream Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and we do cruise news live every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. So look, here's the thing I'm gonna give you a caveat on. I just went on a four day Bermuda cruise out of New York City on the Venezia and I did not have the best time ever. Uh, there was a lot of your stereotypical carnivalisms on this cruise. Everybody's heard them, everybody's heard the Walmart of the cruise lines, everybody's heard about the fights and the drama and the drinking and the drugs. Look, I went on Carnival Jubilee in January, it was my first Carnival cruise in about 15 years and I had those expectations and I saw none of that. I had an amazing time with amazing people. The food was great, the drinks were great, the entertainment was great, the ship was awesome, the itinerary was awesome. So it got me really juiced back up and excited for Carnival. I still, you know, being a travel agent, I still talk to people all the time, and people will tell me, nah, I go on Carnival all the time, it's, it's bad and this and that. I didn't see it. So we went on this four day sailing and I saw it. I saw all the greatest hits. I saw the drinking, I saw the drugs, I saw the fights. The, unreal. So anyway, forget about all that. We did a bunch of videos which you could check out on our channel. We, I did a video of a review of my cruise. We talked about all the different things that we saw. Look, still had a good time. It was still a cruise. I'm not at work for four days. Still had great food. The entertainment was fun. I just saw a lot of poor behavior. So let's put into context what I think about this cruise ship in particular and who I think it's really right for. Look, if you're going on a three or four day cruise, it's going to be a booze cruise. It's a party atmosphere. These are a lot of times people who are dipping their toes into cruising. It might be their first cruise. It might be the shore cruise because they just need to get away for a few days. Those people tend to go a little harder. So you're going to see some wild things, right? I still don't think it's excusable to act a certain way, to get in fights, to be breaking glass, to be throwing up everywhere, to be doing drugs on board the ship. Um, look, I don't care if you smoke pot at home, if it's legal or whatever, you can do whatever you wanna do. It doesn't affect my life at all. I don't even care if you smoke on a cruise ship. It doesn't bother me at all, um, but it's not legal and it goes to the behaviors of the people that don't care about the rules or about other people being on their vacation trying to have a good time with kids and different things. It's just selfish kind of entitled people that just wanna do whatever they wanna do and don't care about the rules. Anyway, so if you go on one of those three or four day cruises, you're gonna see more of that. You're gonna see more of the, I'm just here to hit it hard and go home and I don't care what you think. If you are young, in your 20s, early 20s, right? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. We're all stupid in our early 20s. This is probably good for you. You're probably just interested in going out hitting it hard. It's like a spring break weekend, right? You know, again, let's all try to focus on better behavior. But if you want to go and drink and party and have a great time, go for it. That's awesome. Um, this is probably a good sailing for you. Here's what I will say. The ship is beautiful. My experience on Carnival Jubilee was awesome. So this is not an indictment on Carnival anymore. Some of it is because they're still not pushing out the people that are, are behaving poorly, but it's gonna take a long time. It's not an easy thing to try to change your image to get all new, you know, respectable kind of people who are gonna behave and, and do the right thing on a ship. It's not easy, especially if it's your first cruise and you're not, you don't know, there's not a good example set of how to act on a cruise. Uh, so anyway, if you are going on a longer cruise, I think you're gonna have a great time. I think the Venezia is beautiful. I think the food's excellent. And I think what you will find is that it's gonna be an amazing vacation for you. So I'm saying if you're going on a seven day, eight day, 11 day, ignore everything I said and I think you're gonna have a great time. 
If you are going on a shorter cruise, just be aware that it is going to be more of a party type atmosphere. It doesn't mean you have to get involved in the drama. It doesn't mean that you have to deal with it. We go to bed, it's, the three of us that went on the cruise, we generally go to bed early. We were never up past midnight. I really didn't see anything wild at night. I saw a lot of wild stuff during the day, which is crazy. So I can't imagine how much wilder it is at night, but it's fine. It didn't ruin our trip. It didn't ruin my vacation. It just reminded me that sometimes people don't behave well and act poorly. So again, my other caveat when I do all of our reviews and all of our videos is this is a snippet in time. It's a four day cruise that we went on from June 6th to June 10th of 2024. It could be vastly different when you go on the ship, even on a four day. You might have different food. You might have different entertainment. You, you might have a, a, group, a group of people that are awesome, that don't act up and just have a great time and everybody's having fun. So take everything that everyone says with a grain of salt, especially on YouTube, where there's so much sensationalism and clickbait and all the other things. Every cruise is awesome. We love cruising. I go on a cruise almost every single month and 99.99% of the time, I have an amazing time. So please take everything with a grain of salt, go on Carnival Venezia, have an amazing cruise vacation, and then come back here and comment and let me know how your cruise was. I'm excited to hear about it. I would love to hear about it. So that is it for today. I think this ship is great for people who want to party and have a great time. Even on longer cruises, I think Carnival's a fun ship. Carnival's a fun cruise line. It's built for people who want to have a great time. There's tons of things for kids to do. The kids clubs are great. Uh, we saw tons of kids in the pools everywhere. Everybody seemed like they were having a great time. So that's who I think this is best for. Probably a younger demographic for the shorter cruises who want to party and have a great time. And then for the longer cruises, families, like if you're doing a week or so, families. Uh, and even I would say older couples, older singles. If you're celebrating something, you just want to go and have a great time uh, and enjoy yourself on a really beautiful ship out of New York City. Uh, so go check it out. Let me know what you thought. Uh, really appreciate you watching the video today. I know it was a little all over the board, scattered. It's usually pretty focused. But since it was such a weird event and sailing for us i just try to be honest and transparent so you know what kind of we saw on the trip so thanks so much for watching if you got anything out of it and you found it useful please like and we would love for you to subscribe to our channel come along and join us on this amazing cruise life thanks so much happy sailing and bye